normally Greg Riley, our pet guy, brings his dog Annie on to tell us about different issues. That's not a dog. That's not a dog. Not a dog. No. No. It's a little goat. Uh, More specifically, it's also a dairy goat. A dairy goat. Okay. And uh, basically what we're doing today is just kind of a little bit of a show and tell educational uh, piece on goats. Trying to eat the computer already. (laughs) And yeah, the little goat's name is Toodles and she is absolutely adorable. Mm -hmm. When you said you were bringing a goat on, I was like, uh, whoa, Greg, I don't know about that. Maybe, yeah, yeah. So, do people really keep goats as pets? Uh, They can. Uh, Now, this uh, little goat right here belongs to Dareth and Daniel Gregg up in Rockville, and uh, she's about two and a half weeks old, and basically she's a dairy goat, Uh and there's going to be three different types of goats that are going to be out there. One's a dairy goat, the other one's a meat goat, and the last one's going to be a fiber goat, and they're all going to be basically uh, performing specific deeds. Okay. Now, dairy goats used to be very popular with 4-H crowds, Mm -hmm. and I would say probably within about the last 10 years or so, there was a movement to get away from dairy goats to meat goats. And the reason of that is that dairy goats can be very, very difficult to raise. Mm. Especially when Toodles finally gets to be matured, she'll have to be milked every now and then. Um, and while meat goats, you don't really have to do that. They can just pretty much do everything on their own. Now, I've got the, I've heard the saying that just goats eat everything. So right. cans. Yeah, do they eat everything? I mean, I'm watching Toodles here kind of starting <laughs> on, on the towel a little bit. I was trying to eat the computer as well. <laughs> is that true or is that not true? Well, they will... Uh, be very curious. They're incredibly curious creatures. Now, the whole myth of the tin can thing could be easily explained is that there's probably some food in the can that the goat's going to be curious about or a paper label that's surrounding the can. But for them to actually eat metal and to digest it and survive it is completely false. And basically what she's doing right now with her mouth is she's just exploring. Just exploring. It's almost right. just like touching something to see what it feels exactly. like. And she's not really, she's not chewing on the towel. She's just basically She's just basically just it. chewing it and being curious. Curious. And they're very smart, aren't they? Very smart. Uh, they could be uh, raised to basically train uh, to pull a little cart. Uh, they will actually will answer to their name. Toodles, believe yeah. it or not, was upstairs and she was following she me was. around. Um, they're pretty <laughs> curious little creatures. They're really neat. Now, what about vaccinations and taking care of them? I mean, with cats and dogs and typical domesticated house animals, you you really have to kind of get shots up every year right. and things like that. What do you have to do with goats? Is there some- goats are really important. You definitely have to vaccinate them at least one a year and the bigger problem that they really need to have is they need to be dewormed mm-hmm. and basically they'll have to be dewormed on a special cycle every three months and that deworming will also have to be rotated just so the goat doesn't become prone to these intestinal worms and also to the dewormer that they're being used. So you just, you just can't buy a goat and put it out in the yard and keep the grass to keep the grass down and keep it in right. a constant area and just be done with it. There right. really is a lot of uh, work and responsibility that right. goes along with them. Right. Right. They look cute now, but Toodles is going to grow up into a big goat. She potentially could be anywhere between 100 to about 300 pounds. So oh, my gosh. She's cute right now. 300 pounds? Are you kidding That's me? Huge. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. I mean, like I said, she's cute and adorable right now, but give her about a year or so. She's going to be a monster, and I'm pretty sure you guys don't want Toodles back in about a year. <laughs> but she's so cute right now. We're she'd so be on your glad. lap, Greg, not mine. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe you don't brought her. <laughs> she's, been, she's been fun to have her on the newsroom mm-hmm. this morning. Real quick, how long, what's the typical lifespan of them? How long do they stick around? You know, if somebody's in a pet, how long are you in for this? Uh, basically, easily somewhere between 15 to 25 years. Oh, like uh-huh. a, like yeah. a dog on Yeah, us. sure. Oh, right. Maybe mm-hmm. even longer. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, thank Drake. You. Thank you, Toodles. We appreciate it. Come here, we'll take a look at who's celebrating a big birthday today and this weekend. But first up, here's a look at how you can get a hold of Greg Riley if you have any questions. And also, you have a Facebook page, don't you, real quick? Yeah, Greg the Pet Guy. I saw yeah. that the other day. Just search Greg the Pet Guy. It'll be up on WTHI TV. Mm-hmm. Site uh, uh, within a few days, it's still a work in progress. Under work in progress, indeed. But go ahead, and it's out there. Yeah. Greg, the pet guy, he's on Facebook. Wonderful. Well, thank, thank you, much. Greg, and we'll be right back. Stay with us.